I didn't feel like making this video. I was just uh, struggling with a technology challenge and that struggle could have gone on for another couple hours. But I had an appointment to make this video, an appointment with myself. I know none of you were banged, out my, door, banged down my door to make this live video, uh, but I had an appointment with myself to say, okay, you gotta make this before, before 1 p.m. Pacific, so go ahead and do it. And this is something that I wanna share with you because I feel like it's a superpower that I've developed over the years that I didn't have when I was younger and it has changed my life and I wish the superpower for you as well. And the superpower is the following. Instead of, I'll tell you what the normal growing up experience or just how more, most human beings are, okay? Which by definition, most human beings are not quote unquote successful in their field because that's by definition statistics, everyone is average, right? By definition, everyone's average, and then some people are above average in their field. And why is it that some people are above average, some people are not? Well, there's lots of factors you could call it. Well, there's you know, you know there's there's racial privilege, there's upbringing, there's lots and lots of things. But even aside from that, even if you put everything the same, the same exact upbringing, right? The same exact genetics, the same exact industry, some people are still obviously above average and some uh, or more successful than others. So why, why is that? Again, if everything were kept the same, same opportunity, same genetics, same history, same family, everything, twins, let's say, okay, same upbringing. It's because of the superpower called do right, then feel good versus the typical human experience or the typical human go with the flow is to feel right before doing good. This is really, really important. If you really get this in your bones, I think it'll change your life like it has done mine because I grew up very undisciplined. I was addicted to video games like many young adults are now and, and adults. <laughs> Imagine the, the video games now are so much more amazing than the ones I grew up with. But I, was, I grew up with video games that were like very, you know, very, very simple graphics and things. And still I was addicted, right? Now it's even worse. It's even harder for, for kids. But I was addicted to video games. I, was, I felt like I, I, I didn't study as well as my peers did. How come every, um, you know, the people that I, family friends were able to study much better than I was. Um, I, you know, I was grateful to grow up with piano lessons, but I never practiced. So I was very undisciplined because I always said, I can't do anything until I'm feeling right. I'm feeling good about doing it. These days, as an adult, of course, you know, in the, in the new age community is go with the flow. If your intuition says do something, then do it. It's another version of feel good before we do right. Okay. I know this is going to be controversial for some of you because you might say, well, it's very deceptive and tricky, right? What is intuition? What is spirit? What is higher spirit leading you versus what is your previous conditioning? that's tricking you into thinking that it's higher spirit or that it's intuition. Do you really know? Do you really know? Okay. Um, so I have learned, this is funny to say, but I think we have to learn to not trust ourselves a lot of the time and to know what are the minority of circumstances when we do trust ourselves. Because if you're not a successful person yet, or at least by your own definition, by your own definition, whatever that means, if you're not yet successful, it means you've trusted yourself too much <laughs> and be deceived by yourself uh, because you are still more controlled by your lower self. And so you trust yourself, but it's actually your lower self. It's less wisdom than you would like. It's less um, intuitive uh, connection than, than you think. Uh, you think it's spirit, but it's not. It's actually your, your devil on your shoulder and you, oh, you got tricked again, right? So um, at this point where I'm grateful to be more successful than most of my, the people in my industry, I can trust myself a little bit more, but my, my understanding of what that is, of what spirit is, or what true intuition is, has changed. So, but let, let, me, let me go back to what 
I was, you know, even five years ago, I was feel good and then do right. Meaning, oh, I have to feel like making a video before I make a video. I have to, maybe I have to go for a long walk before I can then make the video. Maybe I have to go and do a lot, lot of rituals and lots and lots of things, take a long time before I can make a video or before I can write. I have to, I have to be in the mood to make content. Have you ever said that to yourself? That is the very feel right, feel good, you know, feel right before you do right, right? You feel good before you do right. That's that, that is the most dangerous but natural dynamic for human beings. And I think the more people pursue feel good before I do good, it is a spiral into hell, essentially. Because you could say, well, then let me do some drugs. Let me get some junk food. Let me do whatever, whatever your substance is. Social media, right? Whatever your substance is. Let me do some of that before I do good. But of course, doing some of that, you want to do more of that. Oh, 45 minutes are gone and you were surfing Facebook. Instead of, if you truly were able to surf Facebook for five minutes and feel good enough to do your thing, great. I love it. Keep going. But usually when we use the substance, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're watching this, or whether it's junk food or drugs or porn or, you know, um, or, or even going on a walk, saying, I need to go on a long walk before I can make content. Whatever your substance is that you rely on as a crutch before you do good, before you do right, if it takes a long time, then you are in the victim mode. You're in the victim of, I have to make sure my circumstances feel right, that my body feels right before I do something. And what I've learned over the, over the past five years that has made my business skyrocket is to do good and then I'll feel good. And, but the doing of the good, do, doing of the good, here's the trick. The doing of the good does not have to be due perfection. See, that's the thought um, limiting a belief that you may be having that's deep within you. Doing right, doing good means to do perfect. No, I don't. I mean, I came to this video imperfect. My entire video, I mean, what, I've been making this for 10 minutes or so? It's not gone the way I wanted. I've been all over the place, and you know that too. This has not been a good video, but I'm still here, and this is still gonna get published, damn it, <laughs> okay? I've learned over five years, probably more than five, or five to seven years, to just show up imperfectly doing the good or right thing, knowing that if I keep showing up imperfectly, yes, this is imperfect, this is not a good video, but this is a better imperfect video than I made years ago. You see what I mean? Like every time I show up imperfectly, I build a little bit more muscle about showing up imperfectly and it gets a little bit, a little bit, a little bit better over time. So that's how I, I grow very slowly. I, I actually learn very slowly. Those of you who have been in my programs know that. You know, I learn very slowly. But I always make little improvements over time that make the system better, better, and better, and better, and better. There's a term uh, called Kaizen in Japanese. You should look this up. K-A-I-Z-E-N. Kaizen. It is what make, has made some of the most successful businesses and organizations in the world. It means continuous, small improvements continuous small improvements not trying to revolutionize our business every day because you'll burn yourself out very quickly you can't do that every day you can't revolutionize yourself every day but what you can do is baby steps of improvement every day or every year i feel like i learn baby steps every year but i'm looking at this as a 50 year business 70 year business okay however long i live so I'm going to grow a little bit every year. You're going to see me get a little bit better every year, but I'm going to be here. And that's the thing. I'm, I show up. I do right. And then now, once I finish making this video, I'm like, it was imperfect, not a great video, but I showed up and I'm proud of myself for showing up. Now, let me give you one more trick before I end this, this long video here. We can put, so the equation that I'm asking you to flip is that normal human, everybody around you is doing this, feel right before they do right. Okay. That's the equation. I got to feel good. 
and then I'll do the good thing, okay? And that's how we become victims of life or how we stagnate ourselves year after year, you know, just, I got to feel, oh, I feel like doing this now. Oh, let me go do it. We're all just led by our feeling, our feelings and our intuitions, quote unquote intuitions. I have a respect for intuition, but I think most of us are deceiving ourselves about what our intuition is. You think that's weird. No, you got to distrust yourself most of the time because most of yourself is still the lower self. Unless you're successful, then you probably have learned to sense into what your higher self is and to really trust that. If you keep trusting your higher self, you become more successful by your own definition. So that's all by your own definition, of course. So normal human equation, feel right before I do right. Feel good before I do good. And I'm asking you to flip it. Do good, and then I'll feel good. And the doing good doesn't have to be perfect. It's just showing up to, with an intention with a good intent. I showed up with a good intention to do something and I'll do it imperfectly because I'm human and I'm learning, but I'll feel good that I did something that I showed up anyway. And every time I do that, I get stronger. Like I, I break the cycle of the feel good, do good. That's what we're trying. That's personal growth for you right there. That's the entire, perhaps, right? You could say that this is the entire personal growth framework is to break the cycle of feel good, do good, and swap that around into do good, feel good. Now, let me give you one more trick that will help this. So, okay, so now we're doing do good, and then we feel good. Now we can put one more thing before doing good, which is to think good a little bit, which then allows us to feel a little better, and then we do good, and then we feel good. Okay, so let, let, let's do this again. Think good thoughts, feel a little better and then do good and then feel great okay so now when i say think good thoughts you could you could use eft tapping okay you could use affirmations if you if that works for you you could do my energy reboot which is what i do um you know hold my hands to my heart breathe in love breathe out total security breathe in love breathe out thanks that kind of thing for a few seconds it only takes me 20 seconds usually I do that for 20 seconds, which then makes me feel a little better. And I instantly go into doing the good, whether it's writing my blog post, making my videos, doing my bookkeeping, doing my taxes, uh, doing my sales page, reaching out to that person that I'm scared to reach out to, whatever it is, think good or do whatever exercise you do, but not too long. Don't say, I've got to go for a one hour walk and then I'll feel better. And then I'll, because then that takes too long. No wonder you don't get my stuff done because you have to go for a one hour walk before you can do good things. That's too inefficient. Learn, practice something that only takes you 30 seconds to feel a little bit better. You don't have to feel perfect. Just feel a little bit better. You're on the trajectory of feeling better. And then you do good right away. You get into doing the good right away, imperfectly. And then you feel proud that, you know what? I showed up anyway. Knowing that in the long term, this is a long-term project of growing myself. This is a multi-year project. So think good, feel a little better, do good immediately, and then feel better. Feel great that you did it. I hope this is helpful. And now, of course, I'm feeling better that I showed up and did this anyway, imperfectly, even though I wasn't feeling like doing this today. And um, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Always open to your comments and your questions when I'm looking right now at the looking for the comments of those who are joining me for this live video, which gives you a chance, those of you watching this later, to comment below. So let me go check this out here. Great, and thank you so much for joining me for this live video, Prem, Johannes, Marie Claire, Ida, and uh, thank you for your comments there as well. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you all. Uh, may you be on the spiral upward towards heaven of learning, practicing, doing good, whatever that means for you, right, doing right, whatever that means for you, your vision of success, right, do right, and then feel great that you did it. All right, be well, take care. I'll see you in the next video.